Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a video explaining the Hasselblad CF lenses. Uh, Hasselblad came out with their 500 series or the V series camera a uh, very long time ago and the lenses did have some changes but not huge. So I did a video on the C lenses which are the silver one and the one that's a bit more uh, like a pyramid, uh, like a nose that actually has an angle. And the CF lenses are these that are all the same diameter, basically like a big chunk of lens. So these lenses change a couple things and I wanted to show you exactly what those things are, what they mean, and how to use this lens basically for anything you need. So first thing you notice is the, the bayonet change. So it's a B60 bayonet. So accessories that work on the B50s, which are the C lenses, don't work on these. But you do, you can get a step up ring from a C to a CF, and then you can use all the accessories, or you can also use a step up from the B60 to I think is 63 millimeter uh, filter. So you can use common filters and not Hasselblad bayonet filters. So once we're in the lens, it's very simple. Let me just show you a little bit of the front of the lens. And uh, you have the focusing ring, which is here on the side, and you can see there's meters in white and feet in orange. And then we have the hyperfocal distance scale, which is here. So when you stop down at F4, everything will be focused from four to four. If you're stopped down at F11, everything will be stopped down from F11 to F11 and so on. So the usual hyperfocal uh, little chart that is on every old lens, not on every modern lens, sadly. Uh, then we have the uh, speed and the aperture. So the aperture is here. So we see F22 and uh, to 2.8. So this is an 80 millimeter 2.8 medium format lens. These are all six by six lenses. So if you're shooting six by six or six, four, five like this back, they cover no problem. You're not worried about coverage on medium format film. So uh, as you can see that you have the 2.8 all the way F4, F5.6, 8, 11, 16, and 12. Those are the aperture uh, basically of the lens. And then the shutter speed is this other ring that says one, two, four, eight, 15, 30, all the way to 500. So if you wanna change either or, you can change the aperture just by turning that wheel or the shutter speed by turning that wheel. And if you like one combination, but you wanna go one step down or one step up in aperture, you press this button down and it moves it all together, okay? So you're basically moving in the same EV. And speaking of EVs, if you go to the side of the lens, which let me see if you guys can see it here, you'll see there's an EV scale. This is actually just a scale. It doesn't do anything actively, but it does work very well when you're metering. So for example, if you're using a little Reveni meter, when you meter, and let me see if you guys can see that, it usually comes with an EV scale first. So every time I change, it shows me an EV. Those EV values, which probably you couldn't see in the camera, but you can imagine them. Those EV values are usually EV9, EV10, EV11 are on this side. So if you go ahead and let me see if I can see, we're on an EV8 right now. If I like that EV value, but I wanna open and close the lens depending on if I want more you know, movement in my shot, if I want a sharper or more depth of field, you just have to press and it keeps that EV and you just basically just change those settings together. If you wanna just change one of them, I change one of them. If you wanna change the other one, you move that one. And on the CF lenses, you'll notice that there's a green little button that says F. And that is because Hasselblad, let me see if I can put it on, I don't know if it's there. Hasselblad had two types of bodies, one with a full, uh, leaf, well, leaf shutter inside the lens and one with a focal press shutter or focal shutter in the back of the camera. Those are the 2000 series, the 2000 FC, 2000, I think F, 2000 something FCW. I'm not sure about all the names of those because I've never actually used any of them, but those instead of having the shutter in the lens have the shutter in the body. So when you use these lenses, which you can use in those bodies because the shutter's in the back, remember, you could use a, basically any kind of lens that will mount will work because it just needs to pass light. It doesn't need to have a shutter. What it does, it, it steps down the lens, but it doesn't step uh, the shutter. So it won't trigger the shutter inside the lens. So if you're shooting at F8, it'll keep it at F8, but it won't do the shutter part, okay? So if you wanna see how the shutter works, basically, let me see if I can put this up and I'll take the back off to shoot. 
And when I shoot, let me put it on a normal setting, not on the F setting. So when I shoot, basically, it just does the whole shooting with or the shutter part on the lens. Then on the lens, we also have the stop down um, depth of field preview, basically. So if you're at F8 like I am right now and I press, let me see if you guys can see that on the lens, on the video camera. If I push this lever down, that should have stopped down the lens. Yes. And if I want to open it, I have to push on the bottom, slide up, and you'll be like, hey, but that didn't open it. So what we do is now we take the lens all the way to 2.8 and now when we go back to F8, it's not stopped down, which it's not. I'm double checking because I can't see what I'm doing. So now if I do it again and I step down the lens so I can have a depth of field preview, I could still move it and see less or more of the shot and it will stay in that same depth of, few, depth of field preview. And when I want to unlock it, like I told you, just unlock it and go back to 2.8 and it's disengaged, okay? So that's a very common issue with you using CF lenses. You by accident push this down and then you're all day thinking, what the hell happened? How can I fix that? Probably one of the most Googled questions for Hasselblad CF lenses. Then we also have, that I forgot to mention guys, if a PC sync port on the front. This is to sync with your flashes. Do remember, uh, leaf shutters do sync at all speeds. So this will sync from one five hundredth of a second, not like most digital cameras, all the way to bulb or one second or anything like that. So that's awesome for studio work. This is why these cameras were studio beasts back in the day and still today. Then to unmount the lens, we all we have to do is basically push the body button there and turn it anti-clockwise, I think so. Yeah, anti-clockwise. We remove it and let me put the camera to the side. I'm gonna show you a couple of things on the lens, okay? You can basically see all the settings we were talking about. Hasselblad, it has the name and the serial number. The T is coding and so on. So on the back of the lens, we can actually see there's a couple of things that are interesting. The lens and the body have to be speaking the same exact language. What do I mean by that? So if the camera is being shot and you try to mount the lens that's being cocked to shoot, it will sometimes mount and I'm not saying always, but sometimes it will because maybe something's not right. And then you'll jam your camera. Same thing, if the lens is shot mode and the body is in ready to shoot mode and you mount it, which you shouldn't be able to, but I'm telling you, it happens, then you'll jam the camera. So basically when you can see through the lens, which you can see through the lens, this is ready to shoot. It's basically ready to shoot mode and the body has to be in ready to shoot mode so you can see the mirror is down and you can see basically you can't advance the film winder so that's ready you can mount it but if by any chance you like keeping your lenses uh uncocked what you have to do is push this little button down and then you have to twist this a little bit and basically that you see that turn around and now you can't see through the lens so if you're trying to see through the lens you can't so how do you re the lens without putting it on a body? Very, very simple. You either grab a screwdriver, which I don't recommend because a screwdriver could scratch the back element on your lens and, or a little coin and you basically turn it in the same way the arrow is telling you, so clockwise. So I'm gonna grab this coin and I'm gonna turn it and you hear click and it's back to being caught. So now I can go back to my body and I can grab my lens and to mount it, it has this little arrow on the top and on the top of the camera here. And you just put it in there clockwise and it's ready. And now I can shoot once again, okay? So basically that is all you need to know when you're using a CF lens from Hasselblad. Some lenses may be special, like the very, very wide angle ones because they might have filters in the back and stuff like that. But the most of them, like this is a 150 lens, is exactly the same. This is the 80, all these lenses work the same. Good thing is filters are compatible or bayonet like caps, front cap, back cup are compatible because they're all the same. So I hope this video helped. Someone requested this video. As always, if you have any way, if you want to support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash Nico's Photography Show, support the show for me to make more videos like this. And uh, yeah, hopefully this will help you use your Hasselblad gear to its great extent and understand all the settings on them 
Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.